Good day to you. My name is Maria Konczelska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture and we take you to the not maybe newly opened museum but a very fresh museum in Warsaw of John Paul II and Primat Wyszyński and with me is David Machaj the expert about this museum. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. And we continue with the story and we're going through the exhibition in the museum. And I know you have a big boat, which is the Ark. What does it symbolize and what do you use it for? Yeah, basically all of our guests, you know, really like this boat, but it also have a, uh, you know, very deep meaning, right? because uh, it refers to the boat of St. Peter, the whole pontificate of John Paul II and his 104 pilgrimages. So uh, John Paul II is uh, often called the uh, Pope of pilgrimages. And uh, we deal uh, with each and every one of them uh, on the map and on the screens and uh, on the walls of our museum in this zone. But this boat is uh, struck uh, and broken into pieces uh, with two very bad events and uh, experiences, I would say, for our guests as well. It's very disturbing because this beautiful wooden boat uh, is divided in half by the steel and concrete walls, uh, which symbolizes uh, two events, the death of Primat Wyszyński and assassination attempt on the life of John Paul II, which were very close by events. Oh, the death of Primat Wyszyński, how did it influence John Paul II? How do you show it as well? Actually, uh, the more important question is uh, how the assassination attempt, uh, you know, influenced uh, Primat Wyszyński. We know and we show it on our exhibition that uh, when the Primat Wyszyński was very severely ill uh, and uh, uh, he was, you know, uh, confident that his time on the earth is not uh, for long, and he uh, he was informed about assassination attempt. He told everyone uh, from his surrounding, no more, no more prayers for me, uh, you know, toward your prayers for the life and well-being of our Pope. And we also have a, a recollection of their last phone calls uh, when, the, you know, all was uh, good and um, everyone knew that John Paul II would live. And we have the, this recollection of their last phone call. And what do they say in the last count? I'm very I interested. I don't know. I don't remember, unfortunately. But you can, uh, you know. Here we have an honest guest. Yeah. This is the first time anyone talks on uh, that he doesn't remember. But that's of course an invitation to all of the viewers of Poland Daily. If you are interested, go and hear yourself what John Paul II and Private Wyszyński told to each other in the last phone call. But coming back to the assassination, there is so many mysteries around it. First of all, that Ali Akcha never missed before, and he couldn't believe that John Paul II didn't die. And secondly, that the bullet went kind of uh, in a strange way, uh, mining all the most important organs in the body, which is, of course, um, kind of impossible. How do you all show it? Yeah, there's a very famous quote from John Paul II himself uh, and he uh, told everyone that uh, one hand was shooting but the other hand guided the bullet and he was obviously referring to Mother of God from Fatima and he later on uh, placed the bullet from the assassination attempt in the crown of the figure of the uh, Holy Mother. In, in Fatima, so in yeah. Portugal, where uh, Maria or uh, Our Lady of uh, Fatima was coming to those three children, yeah. telling about the future of the world as well, and of course asking for prayers. And John Paul II was this pope who started to fulfill the requests uh, which they heard there. there. Yeah, actually, uh, the message from Fatima had a deep. Um, impact on John Paul II and his pontificate, and it was recalled in this uh, quote I, uh, you know, earlier told. Uh, but also uh, we have a movie clip of uh, Sister Faustina, uh, who was uh, saying Rosemary for the well-being of John Paul II after his attempt, uh, after uh, the failed attempt on his life. Uh, but what is even more important, we have. A drop of blood uh, of John Paul II uh, in the form 
uh, of uh, medical supplies used uh, for administering uh, saline after the assassination attempt in Jameli Polyclinic. So, so in Jamali Polyclinic in Rome, where uh, of course the Pope was taken just after the association and where they served their li his life. Yeah, little known fact that, uh, that John Paul II was brought to uh, this clinic uh, in, the, uh, in a new ambulance, which uh, was uh, previously you know, blessed by him. And he blessed the ambulance, the driver and the first uh, you know, patient who was going to be transported with this ambulance. He didn't know that he was blessing himself. Very interesting, amazing, uh, those coincidence of, of those few things put together. But um, as I understand, the, the relic of the, so the blood of John Paul II is not for long there. So anyone who would like to see this in the museum, they need to hurry up. Yeah, please hurry up and visit our museum, see for yourself. So to all of you, the viewers of Berlin Daily, you don't have to go to Rome in order to see this relic, this, this uh, point of blood um, of John Paul II after the assassination, because it's in Warsaw, um, in the Museum of John Paul II and Primat Wyszyński in Wilanów. So definitely go visit it. And maybe you will also yourself rethink of um, the history of Poland and this history of uh, John Paul II and his assassination. Thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.